Today we go over the house of LeBain's Gerbos. And the fragrance we're going over today is the Phoenix 2015. Now I came across this fragrance. I was visiting a store in Atlanta and it was a niche fragrance indie house store. And I never had a chance to visit a niche fragrance store, but you can imagine how I felt because most of my purchases are blind buy. So I have to go by what other people say. But this is one of the houses that surprised me. Now I was surprised by a couple of houses in there. A lot of them have a lot of good scents that, you know, you would like to get into, dive into, or own. But it was three, maybe four particular houses that I was overwhelmed by. One of them was being LeBain's, Gerbos. The other one was Zerjoff. I was very impressed with that house. And one house that really, really impressed me was Mind Games. But the prices are so high. And I mean, eventually I want to get into Mind Games, but that takes a, you know, some building up to get, get my nerves ready for. But this is one house that impressed me. Now, what I understand about this house, that the perfumers do a lot of fragrances based on events like buildings, there's one in particular that Prince did a concert on, and I would most definitely get that, and I'll let you know what that is. But today's fragrance is Le Phoenix 2015. Coming in is like this newspaper cardboard, and it has like this building, very nice packaging. This is the bottle. At the top, notes of ginger and cardamom is listed, but I don't pick up on any one of those. What I'm getting is like a spice, very spicy. I normally could pick up on cardamom and ginger, but with this, I'm just getting spices. The heart, you're gonna get this woody cedar. They give it almost a bright, woody aspect to the fragrance. At this point, it starts to smell minty and earthy with the patchouli. The cedar is still there along with some spiciness. And then the base, you're gonna get some smokiness from the frankincense. I don't really pick up on any amber, but I do get some added clean musk. If you're a person that likes sweet fragrances, then you might not like this. To me, this fit my scent profile. Now this is for being dressed up, shirt and tie, elegant, very sexy and seductive. But I personally think it's a very likable fragrance a little expensive for a blind buy, but I think it's real worth sampling. The cost you're looking at around 200 for 100 milliliter. It's very expensive, but to me, very well worth the price. Up next, and this is definitely a future purchase, but right now, I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's 1986 Elite. Now at the top of this, you're gonna get some fruity notes consisting of apple, mandarin. Now you do pick up that sexy cardamom in this, almost floral that's accompanied by some fruits and spices in the heart the two main notes that's that i'm smelling are dried fruits you get some clove with some honey sweetness in the background then the base you pick up on the amber you pick up on some tobacco now this is very fruity it's spicy a sweet floral another fragrance from the house that definitely i plan on purchasing in the future now up next another sample and this is 1885 Bane's Suffer Roots. When you first apply this you get that rosemary spice. I pick up on a green apple that's not listed. I don't pick up any middle notes that consist of orange blossom and jasmine. At least not on my skin. And coming in the base it consists of a lot of notes that's making it woody, making it smoky. Now this fragrance is very spicy with a slight bit of smokiness. It's almost a dark scent that have enough sweetening that keep it from going into very, very dark territory. Another must have for me in the future. Now the one that I don't have on me is Purple Night and that's definitely a must buy. It's a fragrance that was inspired by Prince doing a concert. I can't remember where it was that he did the concert. Very lovely scent that will be added to my collection sometime in the future. Last but not least, and this is 
1979 New Wave. Now, if this house wasn't so expensive, I would add this also. But to me, I'm gonna have to leave this one out. Now, when you first apply this, you get like this bubblegum mint. You get spearmint and peppermint. It's bounced back and forth and you get some musk. And that about sums up what you're getting with this fragrance. But it's very, it's unique in its way because it's, it's minty, the spearmint, peppermint bounce back and forth. I know it sounds simple, but really it's a nice scent, but one I won't be added to my collection. Between this year and next year, I will own at least four bottles from that house. Nice house that fits my style. Very lovely fragrances. So if you can, get your hands on it, get some samples, check it out. I don't think you would regret it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that content. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Peace.